Hi friends, my name is Pam. Welcome back to my bookshelf and today we will be reorganizing what's left of my collection after my first ever unhaul. And uh, so today I want to explain a little bit how the bookshelf used to be organized and then how I'm going to organize it going forward. I'm very excited. I'm going to set up another hyperlapse of me moving the books around and showing off how it'll look and I'm very excited. So my bookshelf has pretty much always been alphabetical by author. I like it so much, it keeps the series together, and I always know where to find a book, pretty much. <laughs> to aid with that organization, uh, in high school I took a shop class. I was able to make these beautiful plastic letters. I hope that the camera focuses. No idea if this is in frame. Who knows? Either way. Uh, that were laser cut. These just sit on my shelf. For example, the letter A there. To show me where that author's last name is. <laughs> and so I had these letters spread out throughout my bookshelf just with some double-sided tape or like tape rolled up on the back of it stuck there. They kept falling off. I still really love these letters but I'm hoping maybe I can figure out a system with some velcro maybe? Not sure yet. I'll have to finagle some things but I still do really love these letters and I'm going to use them in some way too. I keep all these letters in a plastic bag together so I don't lose them. Especially because I had lost the letter K for several years because the way the K was printed it has very little support in the middle. It was like very very weak and not holding together at all pretty much. So I had taken it off the shelf so that it wouldn't fall and break and I had put it somewhere. I didn't know where until I was just cleaning my room looking for something else and I found it buried in my sock drawer because that's a, parent, that's a pretty safe place to hide things. And so I had my boyfriend put some super glue and now it is the sturdiest letter on the shelf. I'm so so happy to have this letter back because I've got some pretty cool K authors on my shelf. So that's how my bookshelf used to be organized. My new idea is I'm going to separate them read unread but still alphabetical by author because that'll make me happy. <laughs> I'm gonna really get a good visualization of how many books I've read that I'm keeping and how many books that I haven't read that are going to slowly trickle into the red books. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put the red books at the bottom of the shelf and the unread ones at the top of the shelf so I see them more I guess. All right so I think it's time for the hyperlap and so I'm gonna set up the camera a little farther away so you can see the whole shelf. You can see me ping-ponging around uh, looking for different books and I think because I want to make this alphabetical by author I think what I need to do is just first pull out all the unread books and sort them. Or should I pull out everything and resort it? Ooh, okay. Well, I'm gonna figure that out. Okay, so step one for reorganizing this bookshelf was to separate the unread and read books. And I sort of half alphabetized them, just putting them in rough alphabetical order throughout the four top boxes of my bookshelf. And once I got all the unread books together there, I then decided I needed to get them all out of my floor so that I could properly alphabetize them. It was going to be too hard to try and separate them while also in the box. So I made a pile of A, B, C, D, E, and then a few other letters because some letters I don't have books for that. And then I just went through each of those piles and alphabetized them and put them back in the shell. You can see a lot of my legs here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I then made a mistake that you will see me correct soon that I thought I could have two layers of books for my unread books because I thought I had so few. But it turns out I have too many unread books and I could not uh, do two layers. And I'm still doing two layers here. I'm going to realize my mistakes soon. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm starting to push them in making three rows of books in each of those boxes. And then here we go. I changed shirts because I was too hot in my sweater. And <laughs> there we go. We have unread books all done. Now we need to organize the red books. So there we go. I just took a pile at a time and made them out and alphabetized them. And they're on my database. Yeah, that's my book database. I'm not sure what I was doing there. Either way, this was so much work. God, there's so many books. <laughs> but uh, oftentimes similar letters were together, like all the Cassandra Clares were together, so they were easy. Either way. And then here I'm half throwing them together in the right place and then actually standing them up how they're supposed to be. So it was like, okay, cool, I have all the B's here, but this is B at the end, this is B at the start, and then here we go. And I'm trying to leave some wiggle room in each of the boxes for when the red books... No. <laughs> I'm trying to leave some wiggle room in each of the red boxes for when the unread books make their way down into the red section. Um, 
And there we go, we're already at letter G. <laughs> and then it jumps down to L, because I have so many books. Oh, and M, good old Twilight series. <laughs> um, and that's the before last box. And we're done. I will be inserting here a nice picture of what the shelf actually looks like now. And in the bottom two boxes, I have put NaNoWriMo related notebooks. And then I put some children's books or some nonfiction that I didn't know where to sort. And I put uh, my tiny movie collection. I have about 10 movies that are just my personal collection or movies. And so those filled the last two boxes. And yes, yeah, so exciting that my bookshelf is finally organized. All right, cut back to video pam. All right, I'm done. This is such a relief to finally have my bookshelf organized and beautiful again. As I said, I went alphabetical for my unread books above me and alphabetical by author for the red books starting here and going throughout and finishing right here. This was so much fun. The footage is hilarious, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very happy. A lot of beautiful books are out front and center. I don't know if you'll be able to see the book thief here, but it is there. Sadly, Sadie's all the way at the very back. <laughs> oh well. And I guess also sadly, Twilight's right behind me. <laughs> ah, that doesn't matter. That's my guilty pleasure. Oh man, I know it's so bad and it's so problematic in all of its own ways. But I, as an adult now for sure, I can enjoy it and also see its flaws and its, and its problematic issues. That doesn't stop me from keeping it and literally owning the whole series. <laughs> All right, I guess the only other change is I forgot to mention between the red and unread I left this empty one, empty box, where I put my little my little basket of uh, bookmarks. I put this cute little musical box I have that plays Debussy's Arabesque and has a picture of Gustave Klimt's The Kiss, which is one of my favorite paintings, and so I thought to go with that I would put my book about Gustave Klimt behind there. It has already fallen over once and knocked over all these bookmarks, but that's fine. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. And hopefully sitting, seeing that book sitting there will hopefully get me to read it, because nonfiction is hard sometimes. <laughs> but uh, Gustav Klimt's one of my favorite painters. He's just, the kiss is just so beautiful to me. I have a copy of it on my wall over there. I would like to know more about him, so yeah. I'm filming this at the end of January. I'm almost wondering if I can squeeze a small book between the end of January and the start of February where there's the next buzzword prompt. Oh well, that's gonna be for me to decide somehow, but at least I can see all the books I have to read. Most of them are up here. I think you, you from the camera point can only see this one. This is the end of the alphabet, but there are some short books and there's some long books, but it could be fun to find a little book somewhere, but at least I can see them all. I'm very excited. All right. Thanks so much for watching another video of mine. Like and subscribe for more bookish content. <laughs> Comment how your bookshelf is organized. If it's by genre, by color. I love seeing color bookshelves, but I know it would frustrate me too much trying to find a book by remembering its color. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and happy reading. Bye!